In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how ModelStream maps Revit families and their parameter values in a BIM model to asset classifications and attributes in Maximo. The mapping editor is part of the ModelStream Revit add-in, so from within Revit, we launch ModelStream and connect to Maximo. After the connection is established, we launch the mapping editor. On the left side of the screen, we see a list of all the Revit families that exist in our active model. On the right hand side, we see the Maximo classification hierarchy that was extracted by ModelStream. In this example, we're going to map the Revit family named PumpCHW to the Maximo classification node named Pump, which has the classification plumbing as a parent. To establish the mapping, we simply click and drag the family from the list on the left to a classification on the right. Since multiple families in a model can be used to represent the same asset type, ModelStream allows us to map more than one family to a Maximo classification. For now, we'll unmap these additional pump families. The next screen in the mapping editor allows us to map the individual family parameters to attributes in Maximo. On the left hand side, we see a list of just those families that are active in the current mapping. When the pump family is selected, we see the list of all that family's attributes in the center portion of the screen. On the right side of the screen, we see all of the attributes for the Maximo classification named pump. To map parameters to Maximo attributes, we simply drag a parameter from the list in the center of the screen onto an attribute in the list on the right. In this example, the pump family has a voltage parameter that we would like to include as part of the asset mapping, but the attribute doesn't exist in Maximo. One of the more powerful features in ModelStream is the ability to define new Maximo attributes that will automatically be created when the asset data is synchronized. We click Add New to define a new voltage attribute in the Maximo classification, and then drag the Voltage2 parameter onto it to establish the mapping. The last screen in the mapping editor specifies the parameters that ModelStream will use to create or update the Maximo location records based on the contents of the BIM model. As part of the synchronization process, ModelStream will update the Maximo location hierarchy and assign location values to the assets in the mapping.